but when I watch a video part and I want to get hyped up to skate, I want that video part to be like this. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review. New format, we're not only uploading on Saturdays anymore, we're uploading all the time. So make sure to subscribe if you care about my opinion of skateboarding. Scrolling down, Austin, Heelman, Brixton part. I did watch this on stream a few days ago. I don't remember what I thought, but I do remember that he did some front blunt around some corner and like backside flipped out and I thought that was amazing. Other than that, I don't quite remember what we saw because when I stream live on Twitch and watch skateboarding, I'm usually blackout drunk. <laughs> So we're starting off hopefully with a bang, right? Board slide to board slide and then does a little feeble out. Kick flip across. This is already an amazing video part. Switch back Smith. He's already coming at you. Boom, boom, boom. Crazy tricks. Front board up a handrail. Very rare to see. He's got the hops. He's got the style. Little bit of a dress code, but he pulls it off with style. No comply. Kind of lame, but he lands it into a manual. This is... This guy is already more impressive than anyone I've reviewed today, and this is my fourth review that I'm filming today, even though these are all going to come out on different days. The blunt side to back nose blunt, really cool. Back tail to 270, and then manuals out, and he keeps the style good, right? His shoulders aren't all wiggling all over the place. Back grinds across and down this. A lot of people would approach that spot and wouldn't even do the grind. They would simply roll down. Figgy backside flip. He had to get skinny around the ledge right there. Holy shit, the uh, the backsmith to then uh, 180 switch front crook, really cool. We gotta come up with a better name for those. Whenever I see people turn a 5-0 into a switch crook, but then they do it like the other direction, I'm like, fuck, what do I call this? It's not, I mean, it is a switch crook, but it's like a switch front crook, but the trick wasn't exactly front side, and then my wires get crossed and I lose it. We get the uh, the fakie front side flip nose mail, very cool. Was that the same guy? No way, was that the same guy, but it was switched? This must be another guy. Because that, that was the switch ollie, most likely. Uh, and then we got fakie trade. So this is another guy. Unless I'm just really confused now. We got the front tail landing with style. He barely barely slides, but he pops out and lands with, with authority. Lands perfectly on the bolts right there. Doesn't add any fake knee bending stees. That was super unexpected to heel flip out of the manual there. Listen, he got to B-roll in the video, right? A little bit of a bird flapping or whatever. But we've seen so many videos where literally 70% of the video would be that bird flapping. This guy's, he, he's, it's nothing but footage. It's, it's trick after trick after trick after trick. Like an automatic weapon, dude. And it just, it gets more and more exciting. The tricks keep on one-upping themselves and they keep you guessing, right? At one point you think like, okay, he's, he's gonna be the ledge guy, okay. He's gonna be the high ollie guy, okay. Now he's manually. Now he's back on the rails again. He keeps you guessing and the tricks are so rapid fire that uh, that you, I don't even have time to take a breath and acknowledge some of the things I just saw. So this, th like, what's going on here, dude? This is what you want out of a video part. This is who you want on your team. Austin Hillman. I don't know anything about him. I don't know, maybe I've heard the name before, maybe I haven't. You guys know I'm very disconnected from skateboarding. But when I watch a video part and I wanna get hyped up to skate, I want that video part to be like this. Okay, look, a little bit of B-roll, less than, less than a second. The B-roll was less than a second. You watch some of these guys' editing style. Wow, that was cool, dude. The switch pop out, blunt all the way around. You watch a lot of these guys' editing styles, and, and they it's almost like they rely. They rely on there being uh, their homie smoking weed, or my friend's drunk, or a time lapse of the sun going down, or a leaf, a leaf blowing in the wind. And now, finally, we get uh, some unique spots, some unique tricks, and watch the way that he lands this. I already saw this one. I remember this one. It did rocket flip a little bit, but look, he actually catches it and lands it so perfect and he avoids the tic-tac. He had the option here to tic-tac. He also, he knew he had it. He had the option here to tic-tac, didn't drag his heel, didn't drag his toes. Absolutely magnificent video part. You guys always hate on my ratings because sometimes I rate a video part and it could be some pro skater that everybody knows and loves, but they still get a four out of 10. Well, guess what? This is what a 10 out of 10 video part looks like. I should say 9.5 because I'm sure there was something maybe that I missed that could have been better. And I don't think we saw any death-defying stunts, which is what I like to watch. But you know what? This is easily, 
a 9.5. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below. Do you think I'm, uh, do you think I'm riding the jock a little too much here? Or would you guys agree that this is a 9.5 out of 10? Also, again, we're not only uploading on Saturdays anymore, so in a comment below after you tell me how much you liked this video, let me know who we should review next. I don't only want to steal footage from the Thrasher magazine, but I would like to review a lot more professional skaters and commentate on their videos the same way that I did here. So for those other major brands, if they're coming out with new stuff, feel free to, uh, to keep me updated. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, Kuna Matata. In the arms of